Hey, what's going on guys? Snowball back here once again, and I'm actually doing a live commentary here from the good old, um, not state, <laughs> country of Taiwan. And, um, so this is actually going to be the first live commentary that I've done here from Taiwan for you guys. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of a challenge here if I can. Uh, it's going to be the no door challenge, which means I can't open any of these doors here. And, uh, I, I just have to stay in here, so hopefully Juggernaut lands in my area. That would be great. And there's the box back there, but it doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna just see how this goes. It's, uh, it's been quite a long time since I've... Ooh, please tell me it's Jug. Nope, it's... Oh, yeah, it has to be Quick Revive. Duh. <laughs> but, so, um, yeah, so let's just see how long we can get this going. And, uh, just have a little bit of fun here. So, anyways, I, I am in Taiwan, and... I've been here for quite a while, but I actually, I haven't been playing any games, like, at all, recently, and, like, every now and then, maybe, like, I think three different times I've actually played my Xbox. It was almost pointless to bring it, but, <laughs> I don't know, I, I just, I've been focusing a lot more on school here, and, and having a lot of fun, and what in the hell is this on right now? I'm gonna turn this down, it feels really awkward right now. Like, uh, the setup here... I have my microphone standing on my bed right now, and uh, so it can pick up my voice. And then it, I'm like sitting be in a chair beside my bed. My computer's on a little like TV tray table thing, uh, recording my voice and the gameplay. And the Xbox is underneath it on the ground. <laughs> so it's it's really weird uh, this setup here. So I I don't know, but uh, I'm not here very often. It's a very small room, and uh, it. It's very expensive because, like, all places are in Taiwan. Because, uh, it's just such a small place. And why didn't you die? Because it's just, like, a very small country. So, uh, you know, the land is... You gotta make use of it. So it's gonna be a little more expensive. You know what I mean. But, other than that, it's been really great. I also live in the, uh, more expensive part of town for some reason. But, <laughs> other than that, it's been really great. Uh, here, just taking classes, having some fun, hanging out with friends, stuff like that, and uh, it's it's just a lot of fun over here. It's a lot different from America, where I'm from. Ugh. Oh, bollocks, come on. Oh, if he would have hit me, I know I would have went down. This guy right here. Get out of here. Alright. I need to get enough points so I can open up this uh, center here. Which I think I almost... How much is it? I forgot. 3,000 and then I can start getting the... I want the 74U in there. And then I want the... Uh, ballistic knife there. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure the Galvanuckles are on this map. But I... I don't know. Um, I think they're... Uh, they're definitely... If they are, they're not in the center here. So we can just forget about those. But that's going to be my next thing. Is getting in here and getting the Bowie knife. And I think it also costs 3000 I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember. So, we'll find out. <laughs> here we go. Sorry, it's kind of slow right here. At the moment. Because it's always like that in the beginning of Zombies. Bam. Yeah, it's really funny because uh, here... Like, if you guys don't know me, uh, you know, if you haven't known me for very long, then you wouldn't know that I've actually been in Taiwan for three different years. Like, uh, not three years total, but I've been here three different times over three years because I, I come here during the summers. And so, basically, I do school, like, all year round, and I do the uh, summer in Taiwan. And uh, I'm just going to open this now see how much this uh, knife is. It's, yeah, it is 3,000. Uh, so, you know, my Chinese is actually really, like, good now. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like a badass or anything. It's just, it's really, it's the best so far, like, to date. You know, like, my Chinese has never been as good as it is right now. And I've only, I've been here for exactly one month. And uh, it's already, like, improved by, like, doubled. It's kind of crazy. And so it's really funny because, like, I am, like, you know, white. <laughs> and uh, most people here, they look at me and they think that I don't understand anything. 
So, you know, like, they'll be, like, uh, I've actually had it a couple times. Like, people would be speaking around me, like, about me. And, uh, I, and then I would pretty much call them out on it. Like, it's really funny when, when you do that. Call somebody out whenever they're doing something that, like, you don't like or something. And it really shuts them up. But I've done that quite a few times here. And, uh, it's, it's a riot. It's, it's a lot of fun when you do that. Alright, I'm just gonna grab that. Fuck it. Who cares? Uh, where'd he go? Okay, here we go. Ugh. And the reason I did this, uh, challenge here on Nuketown is because, like, if I did it on, on town, you know, it wouldn't make any much sense. Because, you know, I can, uh, it's a really big area. This is more tight, more compact, and there's not much stuff here in the center. Uh, although, if I did it on town, I wouldn't be able to get any perks. Because you have to open doors to get the perks. Well, I can get two of them. Uh, what is it? Double tap and a speed cola. That would have been worth it, but... You know, oh well. I can crawl under here and and whatnot. Why am I... Why do I have this gun? Oh, wait. Yeah, because I was knifing. <laughs> but also, like, if I did it on... Uh, I was thinking about Die Rise, but I'm like, well, I can move around the map without, like, opening any doors. So, uh, that'd be kind of pointless and kind of like cheating... So, uh, I decided not to... Oh, god damn it. I decided not to do that either. Uh, just because I didn't want it to be, like, any, like, cheatful-like, I guess you could say. Uh, so I just kind of landed on this map to do it. Uh, I might do it on farm. I'm not sure. It, that would be interesting, but... The thing about farm is, like, I don't even have to do a no-door challenge to make it hard. Because it's already hard enough, you know. So, uh, I kind of don't want to do that. 31. Kind of don't want to do that, but I mean, I might just do like a regular run through farm and just see like how far I can get again. Uh, because it's been a like quite a while since I've played any zombies. And I was thinking about doing some Black Ops 1 zombies also. Uh, just to go back to that because I kind of miss those maps right now. It's been a long time since I've played anything uh, Black Ops 1 like. There we go. Alright, I don't really have to worry too much about my points now because, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not really, I don't need that many more points, you know, so, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, with Die Rise, you can make it around the entire map without, like, opening any doors, really. Uh, pretty much. Not the entire map, but most of it, I believe. And, uh, so that, that'd be kind of cheap <laughs> to try to do this challenge on. So... If anybody's looking to do this challenge, and you guys want to, uh, leave it in a, you know, a, uh, what, what do you call it? I forgot. You know, where your video shows up down in the bottom. <laughs> video response, that's what it is. If you guys want to leave a video response down below of your, uh, you know, attempt, feel free to. That'd be great. I'm definitely willing to, uh, watch it, and, because I enjoy watching zombies, and, yeah. So I will definitely accept it, but it has to be on Nuketown here with the uh, no door challenge here, where I'm not opening any doors. You can grab any of these guns here. Uh, you can grab these perks. I'm going to go ahead and grab Quick Revive just because I probably need it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I really wish that I can get Juggernaut to land like right here. And I, like, I'm really hoping so. We need three more zombies now. One two and then three and that goes down to zero. Oh, do I need one more? I've never figured out that like countdown thing. Like, there it goes, yeah. You need to complete the zero. So now we have we're gonna have something. Where's he going? Is he coming at all? I don't know. I don't want to look up for very long. Oh, I hear it. He's probably going to like the backyard or something. Assholes. <laughs> I'm trying to do a challenge here, jerks. Huh. I don't want to go back there. I thought there was supposed to be a perk coming. It probably did. I'm just like not paying much attention to where it's flying. But I didn't hear like the kaboom, like like poof, where it like lands or whatever. I don't know. I've only played this map a couple of times. Like I, I, I don't know. I thought it was gonna be easy, but then like the first like two times I played this map. I, like, completely just sucked at it, so <laughs> I don't know what happened. So, uh, maybe it'll go a little bit easier this time, and I'll get a little bit farther with the no-door challenge. But it's great that they give you this stuff in here. That'd be worth it. 
Should I buy claymores? There we go. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. <laughs> toot, 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 toot. I'm gonna start using some ammo. I might just go a little faster. Yeah! No door challenge. Bitches. Nuketown zombies. No door challenge. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this. I'm gonna title this. I don't give a fuck. No door challenge. <laughs> Uh oh. What's that sound for? Kaboom! That's what that sounds for, bitch. Where's my next perk? Oh, here it comes. Yes, right here. No, no, I said over. Oh, God damn it. I said over here, you asshole. God. <laughs> They're not gonna give me anything in the center. Like, I just want Juggernaut. That'd, that'd be nice. You know? That's all. Shirts. Hmm. Over the claymore over here. There we go. That side's taken care of. <laughs> Actually, I want to pick up two of them. Oh, look at there. Oops. Reload, please. Bollocks. Oh god, I thought that was like gonna like blow up and like I was gonna die. Oh, I'm just gonna make this go faster with uh, shooting him with my pistol here. Oh shit balls! Oh come on! Yeah, that's a bunch of garbage. Double. There's a zombie behind me. <laughs> this skill's over. Sorry, I was going a little silent there. Alright, I have a feeling that, like, I'm kind of thinking that I'm too good right now, but, like, I'm, so I'm not being as cautious, and that's gonna end up making me go down. Like, now I can grab this. So I need to just stick to the plan, man, stick to the plan, be cautious, you know. And that's it. That's how you gotta do it. One syntax. That's all we can get. There we go. Alright. I'm keeping this pistol because maybe Pack-a-Punch might end up showing up over here or something. That'd be nice. And then get this damn teacup off. <laughs> and then, uh, I can Pack-a-Punch my, uh, the 1911. Wow, I'm out of ammo, really? I didn't know I was low. There we go. Yeah, shut up in there. I can hear ya. Oops. Oh god, oh god, see? See, don't do that, don't do that. Dear lord. Oh dear lord, baby Jesus. Like, I just get touched by a zombie and I'm kind of like freaking out. Oh damn it. I didn't know it was a max ammo. Or else I would have reloaded first. That's alright, no big deal. I got plenty of points. Damn. It's only round 10. I'm it's not like it's round 100. <laughs> there we go. Seems he's lost his head. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh god, no! Oh, I was stuck on a rock. <laughs> I thought I was like trapped in between zombies or something. There we go. Does that mean I hit zero again? I think it does. Alright. Oh dear. Oh, that actually worked. Alright, time to use the pistol ammo. Run! That didn't even do any. Are you, are you serious? Look at this. Do something. It just killed the zomb the one zombie that I actually stuck. Yep, just grabbing it. Oh god, he still hit me. Jerk. Alright, here we go. Look at my points. I'm a madman with these points. Alright. 
Hmm. We don't have any more perks around here. Some preposterous. Do we have any down here? Nope. See if 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 it puts like Juggernaut there, please. <laughs> Por favor. Be nice. I like Juggernaut. That's that's all I really want. Uh, this gun's already getting weak. Give me a pack punch too. <laughs> Alright, I'm being greedy now. I'm like, I want this. That's all. Okay, actually I want this and this and this. <laughs> hey there. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh. Annihilated. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Aha. Oh, yeah, need is a little revive. Alright. The song. <laughs> Die, you. Just doing my job here. Zombie cleanup. Oh, come on. You're the last one. Oh, I thought he was. God damn. We actually got a few more left. That's kind of hard to get. The ammo there. Don't sass me, boy. Oh, hello. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna take the headset off. Oh my god. It's freaking hot. Man. Like, today's, uh, the weather today was just outrageous. Like, I, uh, like... Uh, I walked outside thinking it was going to be a nice day and then instantly pouring sweat. Not like, no, you didn't, I'm not exaggerating that. I walked outside and instantly started fucking sweating. And it takes me about 20 minutes to get to school. Like, I rode the metro to school. So, you know, it's underground, it's, it's, there's AC, it's fine. But, uh, coming back, I, I had this good idea, like, it would be really cool to, um, to ride the bike back home. Because here in Taiwan, we have a thing called U-Bike. Oh, shit. We have a thing called U-Bike, and uh, what it is, is it, uh, you use your Metro card, and you, oh shit, come on now, you use your Metro card, and uh, you can, like, just rent this bike and, and and ride it wherever you want, and they have the stations, like, you you put it back where, where you, like, you know, any of the stations, like, all over the city, and uh, it's really nice because the first 30 minutes that you have the bike is free. And in 30 minutes, you can ride, like, <laughs> really, really far. So the first 30 minutes is free, and then it's, like, every 30 minutes after that is, like, $10, which is, like, uh, 33 U.S. cents. <laughs> like, it's not even a dollar, so it's really, really, really cheap. And, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. So, uh, I decided to, uh, you know, have the broad idea, idea to ride that back home. And, uh, you know, the idea just, uh, ended up to not be very nice, you know. I was, like, pouring sweat, and I got lost, and I, like, I went way past my, uh, my house, and, like, I had no idea where the fuck I was. And, like, I was just using landmarks, like, Taipei 101, which is the, uh, former most tallest building in the world. Uh, oh, shit, I missed that one. Uh, I know that I live near that, but it's, like, another station. Let's use the, uh, no, I want to keep the pistol. Damn it. I missed it. Alright, we'll just buy more ammo. But I know I live I live close to it, but it's it's the next station. Oh look, there's the max ammo. Okay, thank you. Oh shit. I didn't know he was alive. Whew. There we go. Uh but the uh like it's called Taipei City Hall and that's the next station and it's where Taipei 101 is, which is the uh, former most tallest building in the world, and so uh, Dubai built theirs, and uh, and then beat it. Uh, I actually live pretty close to that, and uh, I like completely overshot it, and I was like, where the hell am I? <laughs> I had no idea, so I had to just uh, find my way home. It took me about an hour, and uh, it felt like it was longer than that, because I was just riding through the city, and like, really fast, <laughs> you know, like, I need, I want to get home, I want to get home, I want to get home, and, uh, finally made it back, and, like, oh my god, uh, and I thought, like, I was like, oh god, all my money's gone off my Metro card, and I'm gonna have to go put more money on it, because I just did that, like, the other day, 
And, uh, like, I put, like, $500 on it, which lasts me, uh, like, three weeks or something. Uh, which, keep in mind, $500 is, like, maybe 20 US dollars, something like that. And, uh, and it lasts me a really long time. Uh, and with the Metro card, you can ride the bus, you can use the bike, oh god, no, you can, uh, ride the Metro, and some other stuff, oh god. Oh, there we go. And you can do you can do all sorts of stuff with it. It's it's really great. And it's uh it's an awesome thing that they that you can do here. It's just uh it's a really great city and I really do love being here. There's just so much stuff that you can do. Fantastic. What did I just get hit twice? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't know, I took the headset off because it was getting really hot on my head. I, I just came in here and I immediately, like, just stripped down completely naked and turned the AC on. <laughs> because, like, it's... Like, I'm not even lying. I'm not exaggerating at all. Just pouring, dripping sweat. It's ridiculous. It's so freaking hot here. Like, I, I, uh, I don't know what Celsius is, you know? Like, I just know that whenever I go to sleep, I, uh, I sleep with the AC on, like, 24 degrees Celsius and it feels okay and then once it hits like 28 29 it's too damn hot in here and, and I turn it uh, and then I uh, turn it back down or turn it back on because I don't keep the AC on like the whole time because it's not like the ones in America where like I could just keep the AC on like uh, 75 and once it hits that it would stop and then, like, once it gets above 75, it'll come back on. Well, it's not like that here. It just fucking keeps running. <laughs> it's just like, okay, you want it on 24? Great, we're just going to keep it running. <laughs> so it uses up a lot more energy and, uh, and you know, waste more money and stuff like that. So I have to turn it on and off and shit like that. Oh, oh, God. Fuck. I want that insta-kill. Uh, so anyways, uh, what was I was saying here? It's just, it's a really great city here, and, like, absolutely love it. So much stuff to do. Oh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the, the vlogs and stuff I've been doing on, uh, on YouTube here. Like, I'm trying to do them on Fridays and, uh, get them up for you guys so you guys can enjoy it and see more of the city while I'm here. Because, uh, there's, there's a lot to see here, and, like, last year I did a video <laughs> that was a Taiwan whorehouse, and surprise, surprise, that got, like, uh, like, 4,000 views so far, or something like that, which is unusual for my channel. And, uh, yeah, surprise, surprise, right? Because I used to live next door to a whorehouse, and then I moved. Uh, but, I mean, it, it was a legitimate, like, rub and tuck place. <laughs> like, you'd go in and you could, you know, pay hourly for a girl. And, uh, that was it. <laughs> but, like, I mean, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> You've seen it in the movies, that's what it is. Whoop. There you go. But, I moved, I moved from that area. It was a pretty bad area. And I didn't mind living there because, like, nobody actually messed with me. Like, nobody tried to steal my stuff or anything like that. Uh, they, they didn't try to rob me or anything. But, uh, it, it was a bad area because, uh, oh shit. There was a place over there, it's not there anymore. Uh, they got closed down. It was called the CEO house, and, uh, it was pretty much like, it was another whorehouse, but it was like a high, like, high-end club businessman type deal. And, uh, it was really expensive, and, like, that's where all, like, these, uh, gangster-ass Chinese people hang out a lot. Or used to, not anymore. But, uh, yeah, so they don't do that anymore. It's great, but, you know, my time there... It was pretty bad. Hearing gunshots at night. And guns are illegal in Taiwan. Just goes to show you. Criminals don't follow laws, dipshits. Ooh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go. Like, I, I know I got the nuke, but... I was kind of panicking. Oh, damn it! Really? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I hate that! To get a max ammo, you have to fucking buy ammo. It's re but it was already sitting there. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, we're on round 15. So far, so good. Fine and dandy it is. We've been going for... Wow, we've, actually, we've really been going that long? Ugh. 
Oh, damn it, I missed it. I didn't know it was there. I didn't. We've been going for this long already. About 25 minutes I've been recording. It's actually amazing. I, I didn't expect to do this good at all. Like, my first time playing this map, I didn't even make it to this round. And I was getting all the perks and everything that I could. <laughs> so, yeah, just goes to show ya. Oh, fuck. I'm kind of uh, starting to get a little pattern here where I'm running around at. And just making sure that uh, that I keep them close. Oh, damn it! As soon as I said that, you know. I was going to say that I'm keeping them like, close enough together to where they're not like screwing me over. Getting really close. Like, I mean, spread out to where they're not spread apart. I think most people know what I mean. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Oh, my God. I can't believe that happened. Damn it. Oh, that's unfortunate. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So uh, I've been Snowball, and I would like to thank you guys for watching. <sighs> we only made this round 15, but feel free to leave a, a rating down below, like or dislike, however it made you feel if you guys want to leave a rating at all, but definitely hit that subscribe button for videos uploaded all the freaking time, uh, trying for daily, and uh, sometimes it doesn't work out because I'm really busy here, so uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys next time, adios!